Oh, of course, I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, so actually, uh, my first scene was meant to be, if you see on the trailer where I get slapped. So I said, okay, this is easy, I can ease into that, no dialogues. Da -da -da. Cut to Ruchi decides to cancel that and gives me this massive scene where I'm performing on stage and giving a lecture and, and it's this massive monologue. And I said, you know, no, this is my first film. I cannot do this on the first day. She's like, yeah, I decided I'm just going to push you into the deep end. So I said, okay, best of luck to you. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. So I literally entered set like nervous and uh, shivering and all of that. And I went up on stage and I did my first take. And I promise you, after that cut, I was like, oh, yay. <laughs> and yeah, like I, I swear, I was very nervous till my first take. But then after that, I think I, I, it was like home. 100%. Since since I before I understood I could do it as a profession, like and I could make money out of it. I just loved imitating people like on on TV and like dancing and doing the Neelam show and the this and the that. So my entire life, yeah. It was okay. Firstly, we obviously knew each other, uh, but on just like a very formal social basis, uh, we started hanging out because we would meet on uh, in the the office for readings. We got really close because four of us had a, a one-week workshop which was high intensity, very, very like nerve-wracking and like so emotional, so in-depth. We were like crying in front of each other. We spilled our deepest, darkest secrets in front of each other. So inherently, we've obviously just become close because of that. But post that, it, it, we just connected like this, like I would be in her van all the time, we would like work out together, eat meals together, you know, go home from set and I used to hang out in her room and we became very close and that being said, she's so fab, like she's so kind, like when she would introduce me to people, she would say, this is Kanchi and I can't even believe she's debuting, she like puts me to shame, like she's so nice and we, even we had this scene where both of us, so there was like one camera on her, one on me and we were like going at it with each other and after cut, she's just like, you know, you're just amazing, you're just too, like, you don't expect um, someone who's, you know, done more work, especially two women or whatever like that, to compliment you and like, be so kind and be so welcoming, but like her support and her validation kind of made it easier for me. Of course, 100%. Um, I obviously, since I was a kid, uh, I was like, oh, of course, heroine, heroine, but like, tell me the last one that's worked. And like, you know, and, but that being said, definitely who doesn't want to be, you know, in commercially large, I do with all my heart, I won't even deny that. But something like this, a role like this, an actor, once they do that, two, three, four times will a director trust them, if at all, to do a role like this. And I got to debut with it. And uh, the, I, there are very few people who get this chance at all. Not at all, because um, firstly, it is Dharma backed, it is Netflix, okay, the story is fantastic and that is these are the stories that are selling now like that's these are the films that are making money this kind of content and I understand what you mean when you talk about this kind of character because of the trailer but when you actually see the film every character you've gone in knowing what you think about them you'll change your opinion and that's so amazing because every character has such a big graph and you would be a fool to say no to that. I mean bullying is prevalent in schools uh, of course I have witnessed it um, it was then, it is now. I have not been bullied because I've always had a very tight-knit group of friends uh, from nursery and we're together even till today. So, but yeah, uh, kids are mean and uh, I have of course witnessed bullying a lot in my life. Rape survivors, uh, firstly, uh, deserve and get all, should get all the respect. Uh, for coming out if uh, that they have. The, of course, uh, that's what's uh, tricky over here that uh, if someone has accused somebody of me too and like has al made an allegation, like in this film, they are judged before, th there's something known as due process and everybody has a chance to, uh, you know, come in uh, front of law and find out like there are cases like Nirbhaya which is closed and shut, like open and shut. So you know that, okay, this has happened. In such situations, I think everyone deserves due process and people should not be judged so easily based on the lens that someone else looks at you. Okay, this is how you this is how it will be. Or this is rich, this will obviously do it. You know? So uh, everyone deserves respect till uh, proven guilty. And yeah. So I ran away before the film ended. And then she's come to me. So everybody is like, of course, coming in, greeting and congratulating everybody. And then I was like, I've met Shaheen, I've met her mom. I'm like, where is this person? She has congratulated everybody else from the cast, crew, Ruchi. 
and I'm like, then I've run to her. I said, "Hello," and she's like, "I'm avoiding you. I don't want to talk to you. I'm avoiding you." I said, "What does that even mean?" And then she said, "I don't want to say anything right now." And then we got into the car, and then of course she gave me a lowdown about like technicality. What she like, she cried and cried, and of course she was ecstatic because the film is great, and like. So rarely do people get a chance to be a part of such a good film, you know. So I, she's happy I got to do that. Uh, of course, um, she appreciated my work, which uh, I hope everybody else will also. So yeah, I'm, um, I'm hoping to make people uh, think twice because I think the whole process of shooting this film did that for us. Um, like I said, we're so quick to judge. Um, so we did an interview before where somebody said, "Oh, you know, you get into the film already, uh, never knowing who is guilty till the end." And uh, I feel that it's the contrary to that. I feel like everybody already has gone into the film just watching the trailer, already deciding who's guilty and already deciding why they're guilty. You know, and it's funny because being judgmental is so inherent in us that it's we don't even recognize it as being judgmental anymore. You know, so. Um, to make people stop and think that okay maybe i should hold on for 2 minutes before you know uh, accusing or blaming or thinking about someone a certain way and also i kind of hope we shed a light on that thin line of privilege um that people have and misuse and yeah so everybody please watch guilty it's out on netflix on the 6th of march and if you like this video please like share and subscribe